What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and I'm about to watch a death battle, Flash vs. Quicksilver, because it wasn't spoiled for me this time. Alright. So, in my opinion, I think Flash has this in the bag. I mean, I know Flash has this in the bag, because, I mean, it wasn't spoiled for me, but it's just common knowledge, because while Quicksilver is light speed, Flash is like a trillion times light speed, so whatever. I mean, I know it wasn't spoiled, but I know who's gonna win anyways. Three, two, one. This oh boy. episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Warcraft. From legendary pictures Warcraft. of Universal Pictures and based on Blizzard Entertainment's worldwide phenomenon. Two heroes are I kind of want to see that movie. That I'm not sure, though. Their their I never played uh, World of Warcraft, believe it or not. <laughs> but I just want to go to kind of support video game movies so more can be made. Warcraft because we got to get some good ones eventually. Right? Right? Tickets are now available on Fandango, and I better see you there. No, really, I'm so excited, it's gonna be cool. <laughs> ah, the first death battle I can watch without being spoiled. No, really, you can't just go, Oh man, Ratchet 1, or Oh man, Ganondorf 1, and then expect me to react to it when you tell me who's gonna win. And I didn't get the next fighters spoiled either, or fighter, since they only reveal one. But here we go. And Quicksilver, Marvel's fast-talking Avenger. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Death battle! From Wonder Woman to Superman, there is no shortage of DC heroes capable of achieving superhuman feats. But only one is truly synonymous with speed itself. The Flash! Ah! But before he became <laughs> what? the Flash, he was only known as Barry <laughs> Allen. Like many superheroes, Barry's lagging in the whole living parent department. One day after returning home, <laughs> what was he that his mother scream? I'm just stuck on that now. And his father had been wrongly convicted of the crime. Knowing Dad was innocent, Barry vowed to clear him of the crime and became a forensic scientist for the Hey Barry, edit in a smiling hamburger. Barry Allen. Not grief, funny jokes. Yeah. Barry's resolve to find his mother's real killer. And on one fateful night when he was doing some sciencey stuff, he got struck by lightning and then fell into some chemicals. Now, normally, <laughs> this would be incredibly fatal. But since this is comic books, Alan was imbued with the power to move his body at incredible speeds and became... Because fiction! That's how chemicals work. <laughs> You're probably thinking, okay, cool, he's like fast enough to run across water now, but there's a whole slew of other benefits that come with his new power. Like accelerated healing, enhanced strength, the ability to healing factor, or just a super fast healing, whatever. Technically the same thing. The ability to throw lightning. To do any of this, Flash draws his power from the Speed Force, an extra-dimensional energy source which, when synced with the living beings by electric field, amplifies and distorts their perception and placement in individual time versus time outside their own field. What? Uh, in layman's terms, it's kind of like uh, the Force in Star Wars, but instead of Jedi tapping into its power, it's comic book speedsters. I see. <laughs> it as its own dimension that the Flash can use as a power source and also enter on his own whim. Plus, it's pretty handy for getting the Flash out of jams when an author writes him into a corner. <laughs> well, so Plot devices. Like Max Mercury and Wally West use the Speed Force, Barry is actually the one who generates it. And boy, can he do some ridiculous stuff. When push comes to shove, he can easily break the speed of light over 670 mm. million miles per hour. He once rescued everyone from a collapsing apartment building, then used the public library to learn everything he needed to rebuild the whole place. And then he did it, all before the cops showed up. Oh, and he can run on clouds. Apparently, he does this by vibrating his feet in such a way that the ice crystals within the clouds are collected underneath him to provide footholds, which is an affront to science. Speed Force wins! <laughs> anyway, his brain is fast enough to perceive events in less than an attisecond. He once called the Justice League supercomputer slow, which, by the way, process at 100,000 trillion calculations a second. 
The Speed Force also absorbs damage like a shield, because at this point, what can it do? Make waffles? Probably. He was once blown up by enough. I want to Speed Force waffles. A tree, breaking it in half. To snap a tree like that requires at least seven. I'd have to be really fast about cooking them though, because then they'd be burnt in like half of a nanosecond. Right, like or microsecond. Stab through the leg. But minutes later stood up and ran fast enough to outrace a nuclear blast and break the time barrier. Yes, I said time barrier. Did you ever hear the phrase <laughs> New 52? Like where DC rebooted its whole universe and everyone's backstories? Yeah, Flash... Flash did that. All of it. Batman's <laughs> dad told him to. You'd think time travel would be an awesome skill to have, but <laughs> not really in Flash's case. While well-intentioned, his hot-headed time-hopping adventures usually end up making things worse. Like when he tried to save his mom's life and ended up ruining the entire universe instead. Break the sound <laughs> barrier and there's a sonic boom. You broke the time barrier, Flash. Time boom. Ripples time of boom. radiated out through that point of impact, shifting everything just a tiny bit, but enough. Also, it is possible for others to disrupt Flash's connection to the Speed Force, making him lose his abilities. But with fast healing, time travel, extra dimensional power, he's done a lot for a guy who can run really fast. The fastest fictional character to ever exist. And then here's Quicksilver, who's mildly fast. I don't even know why they did this matchup. And few people embody those words better than Quicksilver. Wait, who said that quote? I did last week when I got my sweet new dune buggy and jumped that lake. No, you just said hold my beer and drove it straight into the water. Well, come on, stay on topic. Quicksilver goes fast. Yeah, that's true. And I guess your fake quote kind of applies because Quicksilver's life has been anything but stable. I mean, his origin... He just has a very punchable face. I want to, like, just sock him. I guess that's what happens when competing movie studios both inadvertently own the rights to the same character. Yeah, don't worry, I got it. Basically, Quicksilver and his twin sister, the Scarlet Witch, were born Pietro and Wanda to a pair of gypsies named Django and Maria Maximoff. But as babies, they were kidnapped by a guy they call the High Evolutionary. He experimented on the two children and then returned them to their parents. Only now they had super cool powers. But Pietro and Wanda were later tricked into believing that they were the mutant children of Magneto, a bandit <laughs> brother, and handed off to gypsies by a cow lady midwife. What the hell? You know, <laughs> this is weird. It doesn't even matter. They're the kids of gypsies and they have super cool powers. They must have been trying really hard to separate their character from the Flash. Pietro Maximoff has been known to bounce from alliance to alliance. Like when Magneto saved him from an angry mob, he joined the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, where Magneto gave him his sleek costume and his new name, Quicksilver. But when Magneto got his ass kicked, Quicksilver joined the Avengers. <laughs> because what's loyalty when you can't even keep track of who your dad is? I wish I at least knew where my dad was, though. Probably as far away as possible. Um, well, one wow, Wiz. That was nice. ...is that Quicksilver's had training and experience from both sides of the spectrum, from the likes of Captain America to Mastermind. But really, when you're fast enough to disappear in the blink of an eye, who wouldn't want you on their team? After all, Quicksilver is all about speed. He can heal fast. Wow, he really ran around that corner at the speed of a motorcycle. He can run around an opponent so fast he forms a tornado, sucking away the oxygen and suffocating them. He can easily run on water and maintain speeds of more than 700 miles per hour for extremely long periods of time. And if things are looking serious, he can crank it up even further and become fast enough to outrun a radio wave. Radio waves are a kind of electromagnetic radiation and thus travel the same speed as light, meaning Quicksilver can run well over 670 million miles per hour. Much like Wiz seeing himself in the mirror every morning, Quicksilver has survived some pretty terrifying things. Yeah, and, <laughs> hey, he's taken a hit from some of Marvel's strongest heroes. Including That's what you get for making that dad joke, God Wiz. Strength himself. He doesn't even flinch at the destructive shockwaves made by his own speed. And one time, he ran up a mountain so fast, he accidentally launched himself into an airplane and fell 39,000 feet down into the ocean and survived. <laughs> 
Speaking of airplanes, are they gonna mention the flying thing, how he flaps his arms? His brain can process and retain information so quickly that he memorized Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata by ear and could play it himself in just about a minute. A feat which takes an average person years to perfect. Despite hmm. having a taste for calming and refined music, he's incredibly impatient and has been known to lash out in anger and annoyance. Why does that sound familiar? You shut your mouth before I shut it for you! I rest my <laughs> case. Quicksilver also has a tendency to run headfirst into danger without thinking things through. <laughs> rest your case? I'll rest your case! Alright, just don't trip on that. Ah! Ow. Balls. Just finish the rundown. <laughs> Well, despite his brashness, Quicksilver is a tragedy-hardened speed freak who I wouldn't cross for even a second. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to stop me. Go ahead, try. Next time, try a little harder. Cool. Flash could have done that a hundred times right, in that time you did set. that. Let's end this debate once and for all. It's time for a death battle! DEATH BATTLE! New York City. <laughs> well then. Okay, Cap. <laughs> I feel like Captain America would have been able to catch her. All he had to do was run. I feel like he could totally make it. I got her. Wait, who the hell are you? You trying to steal my spotlight? Uh, seriously? You've been living under a rock? I'm the Flash, all-star hero, fastest man alive. Fastest? Bullshit, that's me. Let's race to Japan. Well, what the heck? I got time. Okay. <laughs> that, that's actually kind of clever. Hey, hey, hey. Cheap trick, pal. I got another one for you. So that's how we're going to do this, huh? <laughs> Fight! Fight! When does the punching happen? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Apparently I'm more impatient than the flesh. Or Quicksilver. <laughs> what a loser. Hey man! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> Is it just me or are those like whoosh effects kind of clipping a bit? I don't know if that was intended or not, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Too slow. Flash better not lose. They better not whip out some crazy thing. Let's watch as this doesn't work. How's it feel to lose, Chuck? Let's turn this around. Yeah, what? Brush. <laughs> oh, <God damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, 
Ash, so you're fast. But I'm stronger and smarter. Prove it, tough guy. Okay, this is getting dumb. Flash? The hell? What's going on? <laughs> My speed force. I'm sure you feel it. The raw energy coursing all around you. This is the source of my power. And here I am king. <laughs> This is it. Quicksilver's done. You can't fight the speed force, pal. And now he's going back to save that girl. Things hurt. As fast as Quicksilver is, the Flash is just much, much faster. Yep. Clearing the speed of Good, he won. Oh, but the Flash has gone ten times that. Which would put him at more than six billion Millions miles of times power. that. Plus, Barry can pull other people into the Speed Force and fight them there, giving him a home field advantage. In addition, the Flash's brain can process events in less than an attisecond. And in case you're wondering, 12 attiseconds is the shortest period of time humanity has ever been able to measure. This means that while Quicksilver's Beethoven feat proved he can think over 500,000 times faster than an ordinary person, the Flash can mm -hmm. think many trillion times faster. He had plenty of time to predict every perceivable action Quicksilver may have taken. Quicksilver yep. has the upper hand in formal combat training, but when you're fighting someone who can move, think, and act way faster than you, there's not really much you can do. You could say this battle was over in a flash. <sighs> the winner is the flash. <laughs> I'm with you, Liz. That was really bad. All right, who's next? On death battle. Ooh, Batman character. Across this nation, the oh, is it the Joker? It's the Joker. It's the Joker. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Joker. I wonder who's he's. Yeah, I wonder who he's fighting. Oh. Who's he fighting? And they're not gonna tell us. Ah, uh, but that was a good episode. See you next time.